I think we all know how incredible Frank Lampard was as a Chelsea player. He is their all-time top goalscorer and he did that from midfield. Now of course, Frank Lampard is the manager of Chelsea and I'll be honest, I don't think anybody expected him to do so well at the club. Chelsea have a transfer ban at the moment which means they cannot sign any players and what makes it worse is that they just sold Eden Hazard and Courtois to Real Madrid and they couldn't even find a replacement. But even with all these problems, Frank Lampard seems to be doing just fine with Chelsea getting youngsters involved as well and all round I'm sure Chelsea fans are delighted with Frank's work so far. So I thought it'd be a super interesting experiment to compare Frank Lampard's Chelsea side up against Antonio Conte's Premier League winning Chelsea team. Even though it's been only a couple of years since Antonio Conte has left Chelsea, their team is drastically different now. I think it's going to be a fun experiment to see which Chelsea side comes out on top, Frank Lampard's youngsters or of course Antonio Conte's experience. So I'm sure you guys know how these experiments work. We're going to be putting both these Chelsea sides into a computer versus computer match to find out which team comes out on top. So if you guys do enjoy these manager versus manager style experiment videos, make sure to drop a like on this video if you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 content and also let me know what experiments we should be doing next on the channel. Let's first take a look at Frank Lampard's Chelsea. Now I've gone for the team that he's been using for the last few weeks and tell you what, the amount of youngsters he's playing is actually incredible and the fact that he's still getting wins and Chelsea are in the top four at the moment is insane. Frank's done an incredible job so far. A 4-3-3 formation, that's what Frank's been using in the Premier League. Hudson Odoi on the left, what a talent, he's only 18. Tammy Abraham up front, 22 years old, 6 foot 5 striker. And Frank's shown trust in him and well, Tammy Abraham has repaid that with goals. William on the right, we've got in midfield Mason Mount who proves to be one of the talented youngsters in the Premier League to look out for, he's just brilliant. And Golo Kante in that midfield, one of the best players in that position, Jorginho as well to just calm things down and you know help Chelsea keep possession. So this is Chelsea's attack and midfield. In defence, Frank's got Marcus Alonso, Tomori as well along with Zuma, Aspeliqueta and Kepa. The fact that Chelsea couldn't make any signings and still Frank's been able to compete with this side. This Chelsea side does have options on the bench with Batshuayi, Pulisic, Pedro, Kovacic, Emerson, Christensen and Caballero. It's a good Chelsea bench but this first team man is impressive. In terms of rating they may not be that impressive but on the field they do seem to work really well together. So these are Frank's tactics, I'm not making any changes to it. Balanced style of defending, possession based, football offensively, player role wise Aspeliqueta as the captain, William taking free kicks, Mount as well taking a few of them, Jorginho on the penalty taking duty, William taking corners. Now we take a look at Antonio Conte's Chelsea side. Now big difference is formation because Antonio Conte played a 5 at the back formation with wing backs bombing forward. Conte had the luxury of having no such thing as a transfer ban and that's why he had a quality team with Eden Hazard leading the line. Diego Costa in his prime. Costa I think was the top scorer in the Premier League when they won the Premier League that season. Hazard I think won the Premier League Player of the Year award as well. They've got Pedro on the right. I think that was the season he moved from Barcelona to of course Chelsea. In midfield they've still got Kante but I'm in for Matic as well who was brilliant for Chelsea that season. Alonso at the back, David Luiz, Cahill, Aspeliqueta, Victor Moses as well. I mean, John Terry was also a part of that Chelsea team, but he's not in the game anymore and he didn't play that many games that season, so I haven't included him in this video. But what a team this is. A lot of balance at the back as well with Aspeliqueta playing as a centre-back. Victor Moses worked as a right-back, Alonso as well. He was in form that season and of course up front when you've got the likes of Costa and Hazard in their prime, it is going to work and this is why Chelsea won the Premier League that season. Conte had the luxury of having some decent options on the bench as well like Alvaro Morata who currently plays for Atletico, Fabregas and Bakayoko who both now play for Monaco, William as well, Zappa Costa one of the signings he made at this time at Chelsea, Rudiger and I think Caballero was also part of that Chelsea team. I think this replicates Antonio Conte's play style really well, pressure and heavy touch, low depth and of course a balanced defensive style. Aspeliqueta to captain this team also and of course Hazard's going to be taking free kicks, penalties as well as corners. So here we have Antonio Conte's Chelsea, this is Frank Lampard's Chelsea and it's now time to put these two teams in a computer versus computer match 
to find out which one comes out on top. It'll be fun to see Hazard back in HLC shirt. Let me know in the comment section which team do you guys think is going to come out on top. And if this happened in real life, who would win? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section. So here we are at the Stamford Bridge for this experiment. We've got a Frank Lampard Tifo as well in the background. Just makes it perfect. It is Frank Lampard's Chelsea up against Antonio Conte's Chelsea. So I'm sure you guys would have noticed that a few ratings in Antonio Conte's team are completely different. Like of course Costa being 87. Well, I've adjusted some of those ratings to, you know, be the exact same as they were in that Antonio Conte season where they won the Premier League. And that's why you've got the likes of Matic being higher rated, Costa being 87 because... Those are the ratings they deserve. And if you haven't noticed already, Frank Lampard's Chelsea is the team wearing the home kit. And of course, Conte's team are wearing the away kit. Jorginho on the ball for Frank Lampard's Chelsea. Abraham now Mason Mount who goes for goal. And that was actually inches towards being in the back of the net. Could we see an upset from Frank Lampard's Chelsea in today's video? Look at how deep Antonio Conte's men are. I mean, that's what the five at the back formation gives you. And the fact that he won the Premier League with this formation is a bit crazy. Conte's men finally look to attack now as it's Diego Costa on the ball. Still Costa out wide to Victor Moses. Moses inside to Pedro. Now it's Matic. Back to Victor Moses. Could whip in a cross. Fake shot. Goes for another fake shot, but Marcus Alonso reads that. It's a corner for Antonio Conte's men. Pedro, it's been taken short. Still Pedro now, crossing opportunity. Back to N'Golo Conte. Conte with a few step overs. He still has the ball. Struggling, but he still keeps hold of the ball. Out wide to Marcus Alonso, who could play this one back in. But well defended by Frank Lampard's Chelsea. Oh, Tammy Abraham goes for goal with a weird angle and on the volley as well, but... He still managed to get the shot off. Couldn't threaten the goalkeeper though. Tammy Abraham in space releases Willian as Frank Lampard's Chelsea has a chance to push forward. Still Willian looks to get past Alonso. He finds Mason Mount. Drops it down to Hudson-Odoi who tries to put the ball back in. It was great build-up play from Chelsea but the final ball from Hudson-Odoi was lacking. Costa heads this one down for Kante. Diego Costa back in it to Nemanja Matic. Could we see something now from Antonio Conte's Chelsea? Because so far they've been very dull attacking wise. Here's Matic now to Eden Hazard. Big chance for Hazard, but it's off the post. Chelsea almost scoring. That is Conte's Chelsea, of course. Hazard off the post. That should really be 1 0. A missed opportunity for him as the first half comes to an end. I've got to say, it's been a more even game than I expected. I thought it was going to be Antonio Conte's Chelsea winning this pretty easily but Frank's team have given them a tough fight and at half time it is nil nil could have easily been one nil to Conte's Chelsea of course Hazard had a great chance but he couldn't convert let's now see what the second half brings free kick for team Conte in a dangerous position Hazard to put this ball in chips this one in decent delivery Costa does get his head to it but the header had no power whatsoever still Hudson Odoi crossing opportunity for him does so well to get past of course David Luiz but Victor Moses recovers well it's a free kick now for Team Frank Lampard. Can Mason Mount do something? He puts this one in. William controls it, but he really should have tried and hit that first time. But there wasn't time for that, and that's why it goes out for a goal kick. Frank Lampard's Chelsea looking to create now as it's Mason Mount in behind. Mason Mount does so well. Plays this one inside. David Luiz comes up clutch. I thought that was definitely going to be a goal for Frank Lampard's team, but it wasn't. Tammy Abraham now with a chance back to Willian. That should be a goal. It is a goal on the rebound. Tammy Abraham, even in today's experiment, has scored. Frank Lampard's Chelsea is seemingly unstoppable. Even Antonio Conte's team can't handle this as Tammy Abraham celebrates with Frank Lampard, just like how he does in real life. It was a bit of a dodgy goal, you know, coming off a rebound, but it was great build-up play. William should have scored the first time itself, but Tammy Abraham, right place, right time, and that is a striker's finish, an instinct, of course, and there you go. Frank's team now lead 1-0 in this experiment. Jorginho on the ball, finds Tammy Abraham now in behind to N'Golo Kante. Good Frank Lampard's team end this game off. Kante 1v1, and he scores. I cannot believe this result, man. Frank Lampard's Chelsea leading two goals to nil. I did not expect this to happen simply because of how great Antonio Conte's Chelsea is with the likes of Hazard and an 87 rated Diego Costa. But against all odds, Frank Lampard's team is now leading 2 0. What a goal as well. I think Hudson Odoi picked up the assist for this one as well. Just goes to show how good these youngsters are. Kante, of course, great finish, playing in a more advanced role in this Frank Lampard team. 
and he does not disappoint as Super Frank's Chelsea leads now 2-0. I cannot see Conte's Chelsea coming back into this game now. Oh, here goes Hazard for Antonio Conte. Can he produce something? Still Hazard on the ball. Can't beat Zuma. Hazard's been so bad in this game, which is such a surprise. Kante putting this one in. Willian with the header and almost a third goal for Frank Lampard's Chelsea. They are completely dominating this game. Kante with the long ball in. And of all people, Willian scoring a header, that would have been brilliant. But Courtois comes up with a big save. Look at the patient passing play from Frank Lampard's team. It's actually brilliant. They've completely dominated Conte's team. And now William might have a chance. Cuts this one back to Pedro. It's brilliant football. Deserved a goal. Pedro being brought on as a super sub there for Hudson Odoi. But couldn't score there. Kovacic finds Batshuayi who's now been brought on. And he would have almost scored as well. But his shot way above the crossbar. I think he's been brought on for Tammy Abraham. Full time and I think we've got a big surprise here. I did not expect Frank Lampard's Chelsea to win and to do it so convincingly, just brilliant from his side. I mean 2-0, they dominated the game from start to finish, created way more chances as well. So I guess according to FIFA 20, Frank Lampard's Chelsea is already better than Antonio Conte's Chelsea. 2-0 winners in this experiment. Look at the stats and just see how one-sided this game was. Frank's team had 8 shots, 5 on target. Conte's team could only manage one shot. I think that was the shot that hit the post. But terrible performance from Conte's team. But Frank's team, 2-0 winners. Brilliant. So guys, that is that for today's FIFA 20 experiment video. It was a lot of fun comparing these two Chelsea sides. And I can't wait to do more of these experiments in the future. Let me know if you guys have any ideas in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time.